Hey guys, welcome to TransOcean 2 Rivals with me, Bradham73. Uh, taking a look at uh, TransOcean 2, I had not played the first one. I always kind of wanted to, but just never took the dive. Um, so I've got the, uh, the TransOcean 2. This is the pre-release beta, um, and we're going to kind of dive in and kind of see what the game is all about. Uh, this game is actually developed by Deck13 in Hamburg, published by Astragon Entertainment, uh, GmbH. Pretty sure that's Germany. Um, but uh, yeah, this is it. It's currently available on Steam. It's $24.99. If you get it uh, on pre-order, you get 10% off of that. And they usually carry that 10% over to the first week or so. Um, one thing I would like to point out for uh, us people, for we people that have high-resolution monitors, um, the graphics resolution only goes up to 1920 by 1200 so... Um, I'm playing this at, you know, 1920 by 1080, which is standard high definition, 1080p, um, upscaled to 1440p. So, yeah, I am playing this, uh, full scale, uh, on my 1440p monitor. So, um, and as far as I can tell, you can only create one profile. I thought you'd be able to create multiple profiles, but I have not been able to. So anyway, we're going to go into the campaign and I already did kind of these first two, but we're going to start off with this one. Uh Oh, you had the boss magnate title all to yourself. Yeah. Well, you haven't reckoned on new and old rivals. Ooh. Now it's time to see if you're still up to it. Put the past behind you and step up to a new Okay. <laughs> so, um, yeah, there's actually a lot of uh, speech in the game, which is kind of nice. So if you don't like to sit there and read things, um, yeah. So we're going to try to uh, better our performance the first time. Uh, well, but I'm just going to kind of run through this uh, like I did the first time. Everything. Rumors of crooked lawyers, saboteurs, and pirates won't go away. But who was behind it all? I don't know. Shipping company oh. consultant Hiram T. Witherspoon behind bars. Investor Lydia Blythe Smith plays mysterious role. The beginning of a personal vendetta? Famous shipping boss after bankruptcy withdraws to Alaska. Reclusive life as a dog sled pilot. Sad <laughs> ending for a tycoon? I guess Five so. Months later, Hi there. Hello. No, you don't know me. Hello, Reese Witherspoon. I mean, I am Hiram T. Witherspoon's sister, Heather. I'm so glad I found you at last. You have oh. to help me get Hiram out of jail. You probably think it's impossible since you'll never be able to pay the bail. Well, not without your shipping company. But I didn't right. come to see you without a plan. Without a good plan, in fact. In the last few months, I've been working my way into the shipping business and given it everything I have, but I can't make it on my own. Okay. I need you, especially if the rumors mm. are true and that Blythe Smith woman was she the one needs me. Hiram behind bars. I've been able to take out a loan that we can use to found your shipping company, and I've already opened a bank account. Are you on board? I'm begging you. Okay. Oh. You're living in Anchorage now? Well, then let's make that where we put our headquarters. All right. Click once on the port. Okay. So, this is what your new home looks like. Mm. Okay for a fallback position, but very soon you're going to have to spend more time in your headquarters. And here's a construction site. Now that's what I call a nice office. Ooh. A few million euros sure is gold that much for it <laughs> I don't think, I think that would cost more than two million euro. Market, but it's by no means the best. And pity it's only a feeder container ship. But then again, feeders are the smallest container ships and they can reach all okay. cool. Shall we go find some contracts for the ship then? Yes. Would you like an introduction to the game? Yes. Open the contracts list by clicking on the terminal in the bottom. All right, right. so this is the this terminal. Is the contracts list. Here you can see all of the contracts okay. that are currently available in Anchorage. This company, for example, would like to ship the following goods. It's for this volume in TEU, which is a certain weight in tons. 
One TEU is one 20-foot equivalent unit and is the standard size for a container. Okay. Anyway, these containers are always 6 meters long and 2.5 meters high. Okay. When you deliver the goods, the company will pay you the following bonus for the contract. In okay. order to check whether one or more contracts will fit on board the ship, move the mouse over a contract or select several of them. The ship's cargo volume and cargo weight bars will then show you how full it will be. Okay. In order to show the destination for a contract on the map, move the mouse over a contract. Give it a try right now. Wait, in order to show the destination for a contract... Oh. Oh, and then it shows the destination over here on the map. All right. All right. Okay. We'll take a look at the journey time, deadline, and fuel a little later. For now, start by finding yourself a few contracts and accept them using the button below. All right, so we'll go to the f uh, closest one, which I think is Vancouver. I get Los Angeles on there. I don't know if I should. Um, what? Uh, no. Nah. Oh wait. No, nah, I think I'm just gonna Sign here load those. Want to accept the contract. The okay. transportation deal will become binding. Awesome! Your first contract. Well, are you getting that? When okay. one of the accepted contracts is selected, its destination port is also logged as a voyage destination. Okay. Once the destination is logged, you can have your ship cast off immediately for the destination port. All right, so we'll do and that. There goes your ship. Let's have a look at it. Go back to the world map by clicking on the... Ah, All right, and, and there it is. Here at the bottom left, you have an overview list of your ships. Of course, at the moment, there's just the one. Click once. Here you can see the fuel status and condition of the ship, the starting point and destination, the speed and the remaining duration of the voyage. Okay. You can also alter the ship's speed here during the voyage. And you can do that to save fuel. Tip, the same window will open if you click directly on your ship from the world map. Okay. Awesome. First Your trip and okay, trip feels pretty good. Place. Yes, it feels great. Good, huh? Um, so now we can. We're just kind of. This ship is sailing over here to Metro Vancouver. We got this guy down here, and I'm gonna speed up time. Uh, oh, just wanted to introduce myself, Clark Masterson of Masterson Incorporated. Okay. I see that you've also founded a shipping company. Yes, I have. My shipping company is the number one outfit around here, and I have no plan to change that state of affairs. You reckon your company's got what it takes to compete? Probably not. <laughs> ha, if only he knew. Okay. I noted the destinations here that we have to... In every chapter, oh. there are exactly three goals. If you achieve one of them, anyone, you will receive... Deliver more on time, okay. ...and unlock the next chapter. You have a certain amount of Okay, so we're just gonna close the menu again. We're gonna chug through here and see if we can make it for all these days. Oh man, he's like taking all my contracts already. Now the, the only thing that kinda sucks is like when you go into the port, the game Ahoy there. Well, it's paused now, now but destination port. You'll find a notification for this. Okay. You see an analysis so this is how much we made. On the first page, there is a summary of the profit or loss. Top okay, fees have to be paid in every port, but the amount on the second page, you'll see there are a few more details. Okay. Take your time looking at them and click on to the. I don't you need to. Oh. Of the port where your ship is docked. Your ship has, of course, consumed fuel during the voyage, so we'll fill it back up. To do this, first click on the ship, and uh -huh. now click on your ship. On the left, you can see the local fuel price in comparison to the lowest and highest global price. Okay. Think we'll fill this you up. Use this control to open the contracts list by clicking on the term. Another see, important it's, okay. point in a contract is the distance to the destination port. We'll take a look at the deadline afterwards. For example, your ship would enter the destination port in the number of days given here. Six day, okay. 
The shipping jargon term for arrival time is ETA, estimated time of arrival. This is of course dependent on the speed of the ship, shown here on the left. Okay. So I want to basically get all of these. Well, move the mouse over various contracts, and you will see the consumption uh, displayed next to the fuel gauge. Okay. It's gonna give us. Oh, that's our fuel. Fuel consumption increases exponentially with speed, so you will be more likely to make it over long distances with fewer knots. Okay. You can also use the fuel bar in this menu to Okay, all right. right. Then that's enough talk. Go and find as many contracts as possible to fully load your ship and sign here again, please. Okay, so what? By clicking on the cast off so I can button, still get can 200. To the oh, but the, the weight contract. is what's going to kill me here. All right, so we'll cast off then. We'll go back to the world. And I guess we're just going to go down to Mexico. Last but not least, we come to deadlines. Every contract has one. You can also open the contract slot. If the deadline is very tight or the ship sails too slowly, the deadline might not be met. Okay. In this case, you will have to pay a daily contractual penalty for every late day. I don't like that. This is displayed when you move. However, the tighter the deadline, the higher the contract bonus. Okay. And that's about it on the subject of deadline. And Gee. if you don't know how to proceed, you can find help for every screen by clicking okay. on the question mark. Okay. So let's go to Los Angeles. Okay, we're going to load these guys up and cast off. All right, so we'll go up to Los Angeles. Try to go into the port here first. Oh, there's our ship there. So we just need to go, let's see, we got to go to Vancouver. We'll just pick up all these. Load all those. Yep. And, oh, we got to refuel though. And then we'll cast off. Okay. See that when you're in port, the game doesn't pause, so it's continuously rolling. Um, and so you kind of lose time in comparison to the computer, which kind of sucks. That, I, that At least that's what I've noticed. Um, let's go back to this map. Okay, so we'll speed this up. Okay, go into Metro Vancouver. Okay, there he is. All right, so now we can go back to Mexico. Okay, load up, confirm. And then I'm just gonna fuel up, cast off. See, this guy just keeps like going back and forth. He's taking all my uh A tugboat company is on strike. You're going to have to get hands on and steer the boat yourself. Or uh -oh. the dock there. manually. Okay, so now we have to dock. This is probably the hardest part of the game. Well, maybe. So here's a map. We have to oh gosh. So we have to get over here from right, wait, where are we? Oh no, we're right here, okay. All right, so we're gonna have to go like here, down here, all the way over to here, which is not gonna be easy. Not at all. I wish we had a little bit more control on, you know, how we zoomed in. Like, I, I wish I could go down a little bit further here. But, I don't know. I'll make do, I guess. So, we're going to want to make a left turn up here and go down here. There's another ship uh, docking or leaving out there. 
And sometimes we actually have to leave the port, um, which is a little bit easier, not by much though. So I'm gonna slow down a little bit. All right, let's go full left. Okay, now we can speed up. And straighten out, all right. So come down here, veer to the right. And then our dock is probably gonna be right there, I think. I'm just guessing. Okay, and start to turn. Pull on right. I'm just gonna keep it at full throttle. So I think we actually do get a time bonus. Uh, okay, there we go. Did I think it was that one or that? I don't know. So I'm gonna kinda come in up here I'm gonna try to just pull it in straight right there. <clears throat> and then I don't know if we're gonna have to manually leave the dock, you know, as well, but we'll see. All right. So now we're gonna have to slow down quite a bit. Okay, I'm gonna go full left. Now it's just a matter of swinging the back end around. Whoop. So now we can go into reverse. Kind of do the same. And then, we, you know, you just go back and forth until you finally get it. It's not that, not that tough. Don't, don't be afraid to really slow it down, though. Okay, now we'll just kind of straighten it out. Okay. And ship docked. Very good. Yay! All right. Workers will now unload your ship. Since you carried out a perfect maneuver, you receive a bonus on all contracts delivered here. Have fun with the cash. Okay. Um. So we got to go for Los Angeles. Get uh, Vancouver mission. Fill up there, cast off, and we got it. <laughs> All right. Oh, see, now we're up here. We went from like down there to up here. Um, however, We don't need to go nearly as far. We just have to go boop, or actually we'll just go boop right out that way. We should be able to go right out there. I think. Of course, there's that little symbol right there. Uh-oh. Okay, let's let's just run up here really quick. We'll see. Oh gosh.
Can we get out here? I'm not sure that we can. Oh, bugger. Okay. So I guess we'll just turn around. Come on, turn. Okay. So we'll back up. Where do I have to get? Okay. Swinging around and let's go to town. Okay, so we gotta go up here, down, and then so we make a right and then a left. Right. Now there's also gonna be a ship coming up here. Right there. And I have no idea where he's gonna go. So I'm going to try to cut in, like, right over here. Otherwise, I don't want to... Oh, he's just going right there. Sure, give the give the computers uh, an easier dock. Oh, I get it, I get it. Now you could actually do everything right here if you wanted to, I guess. Let's see, we'll see how well I can do. And eventually we'll have the really big ships like that too, which is kind of cute. Uh, this does take a while. I mean, look at this. We've already been going for almost five minutes just trying to get the ship out. Uh, but I actually, I like this game. I wasn't really sure what to expect. Um, like I said, I didn't play the first Transocean, so... I mean, it looked interesting, but it was like, eh, I just don't know if I want to buy it. And... Um, so because I'm a YouTuber, uh, Astragon sent me this... Uh, Actually, I don't know if it was Astragon or who it was. If it might have been the developer. Um, regardless, they sent me a copy, and uh, I'm just uh, here to do the, uh, you know, my first impressions of it. And I'm pretty harsh, and but so far, so far so good. My biggest complaint is it doesn't support 1440p, and the anti-aliasing. Actually, I don't even think the game has anti-aliasing enabled. Um, I think that that would be a plus. But that said, at 14, well, 1080p, I guess, I'm getting 115 frames per second. <clears throat> Not an SLI. Bon voyage, bon voyage. Bon voyage. What's this? Okay. So we're going to Los Angeles. Okay, and we'll go there. And we'll just uh, pick up that one, that one, that one. Wait. Got to get the most expensive ones. Load those. Confirm. And cast off. What? You're going to have 
You gotta be kidding me. Where am I? I'm down here. Now I gotta go up, way up there. Wonderful. Now this guy's coming up. What's he doing? He's probably all like, what the heck is Brad doing? Ah! What am I doing? Oh, shut it. Shut Stop tooting your horn. He's making fun of me. He's like, this he's like this new boat or ship captain doesn't know what the heck he's doing. And he would be right. He would be right. Alright, full throttle. See, what happens if I just go right here? Attention, you are straying outside the permitted zone. Turn around immediately. Ah, uh -huh. it's the permitted, it's the, it's the verboten zone. Yeah, I know you're back there. Stop honking at me. Um, all right, so we'll get lined up here, and we'll just go straight out. You know what would be really cool is if you could pilot these ships from the bridge. Oh, that would be awesome. That's probably for Transocean 3, though, right? Right. See, then that would make like it would it would be like a cross between like ship simulator and you know a game like this that's more strategy oriented you know strategy economic simulator kind of a thing okay so we just got to get out of here yeah, I mean, the graphics are pretty good. Uh, the the aliasing is really kind of doing my head in a little bit. Um, it's not terrible, and you only notice it on these levels, mostly. Mostly notice it. Mostly. Uh-oh. Got another ship coming in. Yeah, you better. I'm I'm on the right, so I have the right of way. Traffic from the right has the right of way. That's my story, and I'm sticking to it. And then you know, down here at the bottom, we've got the destination to the dis or the distance to the destination. <laughs> we've got the destination to the distance. Wow. <laughs> I guess I need to, like, have some dinner or something. Doo -doo -doo. I'm, you know, honestly, it's not really taking us that much longer to get out. It does kind of slow the game down a little bit, um, you know, doing these little side missions when the uh, dock workers decide to strike, but, you know, what do you do? That's pot of the game, pot of the game, folks. Impeccable. I know, Bon I know. voyage, Captain. Um, we can also see our ship report, let's uh, see, okay, that's the ship report. Shipping lines. I don't think I can see that yet. Maybe later.
Okay. So we're in, let's see, so we got to go anchor. Oh, I can't take that one. Wait, how many are down? Oh, any. All right, so we'll go up to Anchorage. Take that one since it's more money. All right. Confirm. Heal up. Cast off. Okay. Come on, get in there. Yes, to the port. Uh, Metro Vancouver. Oh, good, we can get all those. Okay. Whoops. Come on. Ooh. No, can't get that one. You can get these two. I guess I can pick up that one. I don't think that one was really worth going to Los Angeles for because it was only like 50 grand and we're going to have to pay like a dock fee there anyway. So we have anything going down to Mexico. Oh, four days. Load that and let's make like a baby and head out. Quick. I hope I don't get a big non-bonus thing. A penalty, I mean. Can't tugboats. Okay. Ooh, look at that bonus. We didn't get the penalty. Awesome. No, no. See, you gotta be really careful. Uh, let's see here. So we will go to. Ooh, look at all the. I guess we'll go up to Los Angeles again. Hopefully by then the strike will be over. Let's see ship reports. See, the computer can just, as soon as it docks, it just immediately picks up the next load and it turns around. We actually have to get, ooh, wow, look at all this. Up through the to forward it one day. So if we go back to Mexico, we've got this one, this one, this one, this one, and this one. Get all those. It's pretty good. Got to fill up our gas, and we're back to heading back to Mexico. But see, we spent like two days like picking like what we wanted to do. I think when it goes into port, there should be like an option to pause the game, because otherwise the computer is just going to wax our butts with, um, you know, its superior intellect. Come on. Now we can just go into this view, okay. Um, going back up to Los Angeles. Now you guys might be asking, well, why aren't I taking like those huge contracts to Cuba? Well, because they're they're underneath, they're under their um, their their date. Like I can't get them there fast enough. To not pay a penalty on the contract, so I'd just rather not do them at all. Okay, and let's see, where can we go? Metro Vancouver, three days, 18 days. 
And we'll get all these. Fuel up and off we go. As fast as we possibly can. A tugboat company is on strike. You're going Great. to have to get hands on this tube yourself. Again. Okay, so we're over here. We just have to get right there. That's not too bad. Uh oh, we got a boat coming in. Okay, so we gotta get right over there. Tell me he's not gonna stop. Oh, he did stop. I love how the wake is way out here. Um, okay, so we just have to get over here. Okay, so now we just have to flip her around, slow her down a bit. trying to dock at the same space I am. Whoops. Ship docked. Yay! Yeah. Oh, that was Stock like our fastest one. Unload your ship. Since you have carried out a perfect maneuver, you receive a bonus on all contracts delivered here. Have fun with the cash. Okay, so now we're gonna go back down the. Uh, wait a second. No. We need to go to Los Angeles first. Then we'll pick up these other. Whoops. These other big jobs. Okay, load contract. There we go. See, we have to get. Oh, I'm actually, contracts delivered on time. I'm really close. So, uh, I'm actually doing much better than I was the last time. Um, did I cast off? Uh, why, why am I not casting off? Cast off! Select a destination by left-clicking on it. Cast off. Gosh, of course he just wastes all that time. Okay, so we gotta go to man... That one, and that one. Load, and... Get out of here. Whoops. I want to be at this page. I want to be at the world screen. See, that guy was probably able to... Well, he's alright. Okay. We're almost... Okay. So, we need to go to L.A. And then, no, we're not going to get that one there. We'll get those. Cast off. You gotta be kidding me.
on. Just need to get the nose clear of this, and then I can port them all the way to the right. We just have to go straight out that way. They need to have thrusters on the front so we can thrust right and left. Maybe some of the bigger ships will, but I don't know. I don't know. I guess all the docks are pretty much the same. Or, well, they might, they might have a little bit, you know, little differences, but. So far, they pretty much look very similar. Do do do. So yeah, now we just go straight in a straight line and. So we can't speed up time in this, uh, this level. Oh, I can, I can go out this far. Okay. All right. All right, come on, full speed ahead. All right, there's the finish line. The Cormoran. I didn't name that ship. You can actually rename your ships, which is pretty cool. And when you buy new ships, um, you can name them, you know, when you buy them. So, pretty cool. Impeccable. Impeccable. All, All right. Lunch, okay, so how are we doing? We are... Oh, we're tied. <gasps> no, no. All right, so we got to get the Metro Vancouver. Load those up. And we got to refuel, so we'll fuel up, and away we go. Okay, get up to Vancouver. Get to Los Angeles, and then, oh wait, well. Yeah, I guess we'll do these. Uh-oh. Passed off. Oh, I'm winning. Just bear, oh god, oh gosh. No, no, come on. Uh, so we gotta go to Manzulo. Go. The chapter ends in three days. Oh gosh. I think this is pretty much the last. Um. Let's see. There's nothing we can get to in three days, so it just doesn't matter what we do. Um, so we can just load these. 
and cast off and uh, hope that uh, we'll come out ahead on the uh, deliveries. Oh yes. Oh yes. Right up with our new rival in terms of contracts and bonuses. And we're also Yay. raising Hiram's bail. Hang in there, little brother. Thank you. Thank you. Sin. All right. So we got <laughs> we got upgraded to the Silver Star. I'm not sure what was it that would get us. Um, oh, we had to have like. Uh, even more money like t 10 million more so i don't know how much he had um i can't really see let's see well let's see what oh man we could have been we could have been i mean i think i think if i uh you know maybe got some different deliveries or something i don't know but um the first time i played through this i'm telling you he wiped the floor with me it was like you know it was at le he was at least 20 or 30 contracts ahead of me um so yeah it's pretty cool so that's the first um little mission tutorial thing let's see uh let's see back to the main menu so you go through these little um uh like campaign missions you just do these different chapters so then there's this chap you know obviously there's there's six chapters you have to complete each one um to uh to get through the campaign mode and then there's also you know like your um there is an endless game where you just kind of go and do your thing and then competition um which is a it's kind of like the same game but there are certain end goals that you have to fulfill to win and um yeah so so far i give it a thumbs up it's version 1.0.1 1. um this is technically the beta version it is pre-release uh it releases april 10th or no i'm sorry may 10th 2016 and if you like the game you want to see me play more of it hit the thumbs up button and i'll be happy to do so as always don't forget to like the you know videos like i just said uh don't forget to comment let me know what you think of the game whether it sucks or is totally awesome i think it's pretty good and if you haven't done so please subscribe for this and many more videos i'm brad m73 again trans ocean 2 rivals we'll see you next time guys bye for now